When Channel 7 highlighted a crowded Essendon box, Brian Taylor's curiosity raised many questions. This is how many computer screens they've got in there. Have a look at this. Bang, bang, bang. 19 in that box, <laughs> right? That's 19 there. As for the Crows, there are three analysts, one for each of the line coaches, and the other, Jared Harkness, who reviews, then monitors the opposition's game plan. So if we're going to make a change during the game, we, you know, we want to be able to feel like we have all the information available and we're making a change for a purpose, not just because you know, we feel like it's the right thing to do. Jared started at the Lions in 2007 and was, for many years, the club's only analyst. He says a coach's instincts need to be balanced with accurate data. Coaches can sometimes be subjective. They've, you know, they've, in most cases, played the game. They can rely a little bit more on gut feel, where it's our role to be factual. Most of it, I mean, the line coaches is, is more based on the educated eye and watching the game. Those guys are there to help, I guess, help us with decision-making process to make sure that the gut feel does line up with what, what, what we're seeing. Analysts identify trends in the game and together with line coaches advise Don Pike, who has the final say. We can have discussions about any changes that we want to make and how we think that would affect the game. And then, you know, from there, it, ultimately comes down to his decision as to whether we're going to make those changes or not. They're there for, to help us gathering the information so we can keep an eye on the game and it's part of the line coach's role to help educate them so they're on the same page. Um, but essentially it's up to the line coach and then ultimately, you know, Don will make the final decision on anything structurally or strategy-wise. Even when coaches are under pressure to make moves, Jared says it's more important their decisions are correct than quick. Just because the scoreboard says one thing doesn't mean we're going to rush and make a heap of changes. So we're trying to get a feel for the balance of the game. We're trying to get a feel for where the opposition's scoring from, where are they getting their inside 50s from, where their field position's coming from.